Why are we going back to 1990? Let me talk about dynamite. Do it. Talk. Well, I got to get to the beginning here, if you don't oh. mind. We had Death Triangle versus The Elite. Match four of the best of seven. Story was Nick Jackson, he hurt his leg. He was taken to the back. It was three on two. Then he limped his way back. Willis Reed. Started to make a comeback. I don't think there was a hammer involved with Willis Reed. Else? But Pentagon whacked him in the leg with a hammer and then submitted him. They are now down three to one. And so afterwards, Kenny Omega did a promo. He was angry but calm. He said, bro, you've used a hammer in every match. So I think the next match, bring your hammer. Let's do no disqualification. I'll let the uh, the guys in the back decide. So, in fact, the guy in the back decided, yes, the next match is no DQ. If there is a match after that, it will be Falls Count Anywhere. And if there is a match after that, it will be a ladder match. Because you see in storyline, Tony Khan has decided, well, they haven't killed each other yet. i got to try harder in this series. So that's what we've got. Match was good. It's a good match. MGF promo, talking about Ricky Starks. And then we had a Ricky Starks promo later on. I'll go into far more detail on all of this tonight on the Brian and Vinny Show. Acclaim did their rap. They were attacked by Lethal, Dutt, Jarrett, Satnam Singh. Jarrett broke a guitar over someone's head here in 2022. <laughs> Love it. I'm sorry. I like Jay Lethal. I like Jeff Jarrett. I know this is not optimal or ideal. I know. But I like those two. I still don't know how Satnam Singh and, and Sanjay Dutt are going to be getting over in this. And I hope once this is over, everybody besides Jarrett goes to Ring of Honor and Jarrett just goes to the back. That would be nice. The acclaimed, I noted, were on their way down to the ring. Then we had a Jericho Appreciation Society meeting where Jericho vowed to take out this jobber tonight. And he also told uh, Daniel Garcia that uh, he shouldn't have lost the pure title. He must now take advice and be uh, an underling to Sammy Guevara. I don't like that. Which uh, Garcia was not pleased by at, at all. We had uh, Jungle Boy versus Brian Cage who is one-third of the six-man tag champs. And Jungle Boy's out there, necks injured from being choke slammed on the uh, corner of the apron. I thought, well, there's an excuse to beat him. But no, he beat Brian Cage. Rolled him up and pinned him after selling the entire match. And then afterwards, uh, Big Bill came out and uh, Lee Moriarty. They beat him down. And then finally, whose music should hit but Hook? And man, this crowd was awesome all night. Man, they went crazy for Hook. And I saw Hook, and obviously Jungle Boy's got to finish this thing with Christian whichever, whenever Christian's good to go. But um, I think this would be a fine usage of Hook for the next six months. Tag team with Jungle Boy. Get this dude going. Seen the same Hook. thing for well over a year now. It's time to move him on up. Hey, bring in the women demographic, 18 to 34. There you go. Build it with those two guys. Where do you come down on the name Big Bill? Oh, I, I listened to the uh, Brian and Vinny show on uh, Tuesday. I spent 10 minutes on Big Bill. House of Black versus The Factory. Killed him. Killed QT. And then QT tweeted something like, the, the Factory's been fun or something. So teasing that it's done now. Hmm. They didn't really do much with it, so whatever. And then uh, they kill him. We had uh, Renee interviewing Britt Baker. And Sky Blue showed up and challenged her to a match. Britt was aghast. So they're going to have a match on Rampage. Remind me to ask you something about QT. We had Chris Jericho and uh, action on Dreddy, of course. And uh, it was awesome. What more is there to say about it? We had uh, Ricky Starks doing a promo. MGF had said, heard everyone said it was a star-making performance last week. Ricky Stark says it wasn't a star making a performance. I've always been a star. And I'm going to beat you tonight and become the next champion. We had Ruby Soho beating Ty Mello. Match was pretty good. They were they did uh, nose stuff because uh, Ruby's nose had been broken. This was a revenge match. So she dropped Ty on her nose, hit her finish and pinned her. But then, alas, out came Anna Jay, and she dropped Ruby on her own nose again. So... What are we going to do, nose of nose versus nose match? 
I tell you what, Daniel We've Garcia. We've never had that before, have we? What, nose versus nose? Yeah. Loser has to have their nose chopped off. Oh. Pinocchio's the ref. Like reservoir dogs. Except he can't get down to count because his nose is in the way. He's just going like get this in the air. And we had Angman Adam Page doing a promo. You want to know why he's mad at old Moxley? Mm. Well, Moxley knocked him out. He got taken to the hospital. And they uh, he's starting to get his memory back. But then they unlocked his phone and they said, Man, look at that cute boy. What's that boy's name? Hangman could not remember the name of his son. <laughs> On top of that, Moxley's just been ridiculing him about not remembering stuff. So now this guy's got to die. Yeah. Well, wait till his kid's 16. You'll try to want to forget his name. Oh, you're a horrible father, clearly. <laughs> then we had MJF Ricky Starks for the belt in the ring. You know what I wanted. I wanted Ricky to beat him for the ring last week and then lose the world title here. Because at least he'd get something out of it. He didn't do it. But how did this go? Well, it was an excellent match. Fans went crazy for it. Hated MJF. Dude, this guy keeps going in the crowd. And something's going to happen. He's going to get punched in the face. Something's going to happen at some point with this guy in the you, crowd. Look, when you put your hands on a fan, even the hat, look, everybody's playing along there. You should know what it is at a wrestling show. But he may do that to somebody who's too drunk or, you know, on something. Do something, and then you get a bad situation. So law averages says sooner or later it's going to happen somewhere. You, you really want to try to limit that. And he didn't have to go into the crowd to do what he did last night. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I don't want it to happen. But it may. you got to be careful. So the uh, they go back and forth, lots of good spots, lots of near falls. Fans are into it. Finally, uh, Starks tries the Rochambeau. MJF uh, it hides behind the referee. And as uh, Starks is pulling the referee out of the way to get to MJF, MJF kicks him low and rolls him up and pins him. And MJF gets the hell out of there quick. But as he's going up the ramp, the return of Brian Danielson MJF flees through the crowd. This dude sprints up these stairs to the top. <laughs> and then Danielson gets in the ring, and he lifts up Ricky Starks. And they were playing Danielson's music, but when he raised this guy's hand, they stop his music, and they play Ricky Starks' music. And, you know, I would have liked Starks to have gotten more, but at the end of the day, given what they were going to do, which is not give him the ring and beat him, I thought they did the best they could. And, uh, A, he's going to be fine, but... Uh, Give him some showcase you know, wins he got week some, after week. Got some great near falls, came close, lost via horrible cheating, and was endorsed by a big babyface star. So yes. they did their best. Come back next week, cut a promo. It's like having the acclaimed on every week. That's why I was for that, because people react until they stop reacting. Put them on there to rap. Put them on there to do something, even if it's get laid out by Jared and Lethal. Same thing goes with Ricky Starks. He comes back, he cuts a promo about what he was almost able to do. Then he goes out there and he defeats somebody. Maybe it's Ethan Page again. Maybe give him somebody, you know, with a little bit of a name. And just even if you don't have a plan for him in a feud right now, just keep giving him wins so people remember that this guy's a winner. Period. There's a lot of criticism about professional wrestling. You all right over there? What's going on with you? There's double the mic. Sorry. No, what do you need so much water for today? It's coffee. Put that away. Crying out loud, it's nighttime. You're not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> you have to have another drink right now. God help me. Now, where was I? People didn't like this so much, I hear. I can't even remember what I was angry about. I got, I got a question. Is anyone else thirsty? How did I not see I'm, that? I just, uh, just, you absolute... Oh God, I hate everybody on this show. It's not an issue of whether the listeners can hear it. I don't care about you. It's about me. Sociopath. God. Gosh. Me? Yeah. Now my wife is texting me, Craig. I hope you're happy about that. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.